Let's move on to the last adjustment that we're going to talk about, the accrued revenues. Okay, we're going to use an example where we have a contract to do some services for a business. We're going to do some consulting work. And let's say we have a contract for $5,000. And it's going to start on December 1st and go to January 31st. It's a $5,000 consulting contract where we're going to be doing our work evenly over basically the next two months. Okay? They're not going to pay us till probably February 1st or sometime later. Okay? And that's very common. A lot of times we do services first. The lawyers do, accountants do. We do the services and then we later bill our clients. Okay? So on December 30, on, sorry, on January, <laughs> on December 1st, sorry about that, there's no entry because we're not receiving any cash, okay? Now, we're talking about our company. We're the ones doing the consulting work, right? We're doing the consulting work. So now on December 31st, okay, we've been doing consulting work for a month. This contract's for two months. Well, under adjustments and accrual basis of accounting, we get to recognize the revenue that we've earned. So we've earned half of this, or 2,500. So what we're going to record then is an accounts receivable, I'm going to abbreviate here, accounts receivable of 2500 and recognize consulting revenue of 2500 That's what we're going to record at December 31st because we want to recognize the revenue in the right time period. Now, let's say on February 5th, they pay us for our remaining uh, money, the remaining money that they owe us. So what we would get then is cash of 5,000. We would eliminate, I'm gonna abbreviate here, A slash R, which is this account's receivable. They've now paid us, so we're gonna eliminate that account's receivable. Well, we need $2,500 more to get this to balance. Well, we get to recognize our remaining consulting revenue. So let me write that in here. Okay, so this is an accrued revenue because we're accruing the revenue, we're recognizing the revenue in the time period that we earned it. So we recognize 2,500 in year one, and then we earn the other 2,500 in year two. And then what happens is these two accounts receivables, they cancel out because we established it, and then when we got paid, we eliminated it, and here's the cash coming in, the whole 5,000 in the year two. Okay, so there's an example of an accrued revenue. We've gone over all of these adjustments. Uh, I, I admit, they are complicated. They're not easy. You have to understand assets and liabilities, revenues and expenses. You've got to understand time periods and why we're using accrual basis accounting. We want to put the revenues and expenses in the right time periods. Recognize those revenues and expenses in the right time periods, and that's what these adjustments are doing. So you've got to get all those concepts down first before you're even going to be able to understand this and know how to do this. All right? So make sure you're spending plenty of time going over this stuff over and over. The textbooks have some, some more really good examples. All right? Good luck with adjustments.